Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, our number is 844-236-6010. We love hearing from you, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. If if we've left you on hold in the past, tell our call screener and we'll get you first up at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head to my blog and uh, websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories, blog posts, videos up at all our websites, and you can also purchase your Longevity products right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off our websites. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products. If you're an entrepreneur or if you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, if you want to make your own hours, work out of your home, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, and help spread the world word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, make the world a better place and make money at the same time. That's the way we should all be making money with a win-win. We win, we make money, our customers win because they get healthier. If, you, if you're interested, if it sounds good to you for a one-time $25 fee to start your own business, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And also want to remind you to check out our new, our newly named Truth Skin Health products. We changed the names on our tra- Truth Serum and Truth Balm anyway. Our True Serum is now Transdermal Sea Balm, and our our True Serum is Transdermal Sea Serum, and our Truth Balm is Transdermal Sea Balm. Same product. I just wanted to emphasize the vitamin C component and the transdermal component. Our Truth Balm is made with just vitamin C and my transdermal delivery matrix. True Serum contains vitamin C as well as some cholesterol and a couple of extracts from licorice and chamomile for brightening the skin and a transdermal delivery system. And that's it. You're never going to get any preservatives or fragrances or fillers or waxes or emulsifiers or uh, silicon or water or any of the stuff that you get in most skin health products, skin care products. The average skin care product is 95 to 99 percent baloney. Nothing. Fillers, gums, preservatives, things that you don't need. And you shouldn't have to pay for that kind of stuff. In my opinion, if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, head to truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Got free shipping in July, by the way, at truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the bright side. I was on Coast to Coast a couple of nights ago. I know some of you may have heard me. And the next day, I got an email. I got a lot of emails, but I got one in particular from a guy who turned me on to someone named Luigi Carnero, who I'd never heard of. I did a little research on this guy, Luigi Carnero. Uh, And it turns out that Luigi 
who lived in the 16th century, really knew some stuff about nutrition. He knew some stuff about health and wellness that uh, even today we don't know. Even today, that's kind of hidden in plain sight. When Luigi Carnero was alive in the 16th century, the 1500s, we didn't even know what cells were. Cells weren't discovered until the, the 1600s. We didn't know what the blood supply was. We didn't know what, the, what circulation was. And Luigi was saying things like, quote, no man should be a perfect physician to anyone but himself, unquote. He said that the quantity of food, uh, this is a quote, the quantity of food I took was too little for one so advanced in years, according to my friends, but I had preserved myself for many years in health and activity, and I believed that the tendency as we get older should be to lessen the amount of food rather than increase it. Remember, he's saying these things in the 1500s. He said, any man who leads the regular and temperate life can be but little affected by internal disorders or incidental mishaps. That means eat less, live longer. This is what Luigi Carnero was saying in the 15th century, well before Harvey discovered that the blood circulates through the body and the pumping action of the heart. They didn't, they didn't know what the circulation was when Luigi was around. Luigi Carnero was this aristocrat. He was a, a sickly aristocrat. And when he was in his 40s, or actually when he was in his late 30s, he was dealing with exhaustion and suffering from the effects of this hedonistic lifestyle. His doctors told him that he was going to die. And according to Carnero, uh, he said uh, he was suffering with, from, quote, excessive eating, drinking, and sexual licentiousness, licentiousness, unquote. What Carnero realized was, was that he was basically burning out his body, and he was doing it volitionally. He was doing it by choice. Even if he was doing it ignorantly, he was choosing to do it. He may not have known exactly what he was doing to burn out or to fry out his circuits, but he intuitively knew that he had to make some lifestyle changes. And the most important thing Carnero did was change the way he ate. The most important thing he did was to go on a calorie restriction diet, the same major health strategy that we talk about on this program, if not every day, every week. It is a powerful, powerful health strategy. I always hear from people how, oh, supplements are too expensive. I can't afford to supplement. Here's a wonderful health strategy that will not only not cost you money, you'll actually save money and make money. Calorie restriction, eating less food. Carnero would allow himself less than a pound of food a day, although he did enjoy a couple of glasses of wine to go with it. He was Italian after all. And as the years progressed, he ate even less than a pound of food. Eventually, he was eating only the amount of food that was the size of an egg every day. And Carnero not only recovered, remember, he was diagnosed, uh, he, his doctors had told him that he was going to die. Not only did he not die, he completely recovered, and he lived to the ripe old age of 102. And along the way, he wrote a book called The Art of Living Long, unquote. You can still get it off Amazon, The Art of Living Long, uh, Luigi Carnero. Finally, he succumbed to old age. Check this out. He died at the age of 102. And the way he died was the way we should all die, the way we would all want to die. He was sitting in his rocking chair, and he took a little nap, and he just never woke up. He didn't suffer. He didn't struggle. He had no, uh, none of the unbearable pain that most people have to deal with when they leave their body. He just sat in his chair, and he took a nap, and he was gone. And the take-home message here, the way I look at this, the take-home message of uh, this uh, Luigi Carnero story is you don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to understand how the body works. You don't have to take prescription drugs and be medicalized in order to leverage key health strategies that can be used whether you're dealing with a chronic health illness or whether you're healthy and you don't want to be dealing with a chronic health illness. Health is simple, 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 simple. It is not a medical issue. It is a lifestyle issue. Don't be mystified by medicine. Don't be dismayed by your diagnosis. None of that matters. Medicine is a middleman that insinuates itself between us and our right and privilege to health, to uh, achieving health through simple mechanisms. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll take a break and continue when we come back on the bright side right after this. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm 
Your pharmacist, Ben, and we are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. We've got a search engine up. If you miss a program, you want to review a program by topic or send one of your clients over to a specific topic, head to brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com. If you want to purchase any longevity products, you can purchase them off criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business and help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program while you're making money, while you're making money out of your home. That's what it's like to be an entrepreneur. You earn money uh, at your, uh, making your own hours. You can do it uh, out of your home. You can work as little or as much as you want. You can make as much money or as little money as you want, and you can also get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee. Check it out at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Our number today, 844-236-6010. We've got lines open for you, and we will get your calls here at the bottom of the hour, 844-236-6010 is our number. So we're talking about Luigi Cornero. I'd never heard of this guy until I uh, talked to this gentleman yesterday about, uh, uh, he called me up, at, or he sent me a note after my appearance on Coast to Coast, and we started talking. He asked me if I'd heard of this guy, Cornero, C-O-R, uh, C-O-R-N-A-R-O, Cornaro, I guess you say his name. And... Uh, Luigi, I did some research, Luigi was a, a nobleman in Italy in the 1500s, and he cured himself of disease by eating less food, and he wrote a book about it, and uh, it just highlights the simpleness, the simplicity of being healthy. We are medicalizing ourselves to death. We got more doctors than any other culture in the history of mankind, and we're the sickest. Medicine has no business in our lives when it comes to dealing or addressing chronic long-term degenerative diseases. This is a meme. This is a myth. This is a mind, mind virus that doesn't serve us. It serves the medical model, but it disempowers us. Don't be mystified by medicine, and don't be dismayed by your diagnosis. Good health is, the pro, is a product of the little things. In addition to calorie restriction and licent, licentatiousness, Intermittent fasting, breathing. These are powerful growth and repair and healing and anti-aging techniques that you can do from the comfort of your own living room. Same with a little bit of exercise, a little bit of stress, a little bit of hard work. Body loves a little bit of intense exercise. Not necessarily long term, just two minutes. 60 seconds on the treadmill three times a week. Meditation is important. Relaxing the body. Prayer can help you. Anything that involves tapping into some kind of spiritual energy can be activate the parasympathetic relaxation healing nervous system. These are the simple ways we can restore our body back to health. And the reason it's so simple to restore our body back to health is because the body is meant to be healthy. The body is a homeostatic mechanism. That means it adjusts, it learns, it's intelligent. It pulls the ups down and it pulls the downs up. It automatically adjusts like a thermostat. Disease is the manifestation of something wrong with the adjustment system. We're over adjusting. Disease is actually one of the ways the body tries to protect itself. And really, from a biochemical perspective, one of the silliest ways to address disease is to take medicine that suppresses symptoms, even though occasionally that may be necessary, especially in the case of pain. This is what the problem with drugs. This is the problem with the medical model that believes that by drugging us or electrocuting us or butchering us, we will be better off. Common sense tells you that cannot happen. Common sense tells you that the medical strategies that are employed by physicians cannot help us. Only a doctor can think electrocuting the heart is good. Only a doctor can think shutting down the immune system is good. Only a doctor can think removing a gallbladder is a good thing. And I'm not attacking doctors. This is how they're trained. This is how the medical model works. In addition to eating less food, which is an absolutely, absolutely critical health strategy, you got to supplement. 
The Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients are incredibly important. They're not in foods for the most part, or they're not in foods as much as they should be. And this is why a good supplement program is so important. And also, it's not just the essential nutrients, there's also non-essential nutrients that are important. That is nutrients that the body can make that you don't absolutely 100% have to supplement, supplement with, but can be valuable. Alpha-lipoic acid, probiotics, digestive enzymes, glutamine powder, and my all-time favorite non-essential nutritional supplement, N-acetylcysteine, N-A-C, which is basically an amino acid. It's not essential, the body can make it, but it's actually said to be conditionally essential, like glutamine, by the way. Conditionally essential means you don't absolutely 100% have to have it. An essential nutrient is one you have to have in the diet or else you will suffer from a disease. That's the definition of an essential nutrient. If you don't get it, you'll suffer from a disease and ultimately die. And, and acetylcysteine and glutamine are not essential that way, but they're conditionally essential in the sense that all of us can use a little more of it. The secret to the power of cysteine is in this little sulfur atom. Cysteine has a little piece of sulfur in it. Only cysteine and its parent compound called methionine, only cysteine and methionine, or cysteine and methionine are the only amino acids, I should say, that have sulfur in them. Sulfur is like a little electrical battery and it acts like a magnet to electrically attract toxins out of the body. And this makes NAC incredibly valuable for detoxification. It comes from methionine. Methionine is an essential amino acid. NAC is conditionally essential, but methionine is one that you have to get through food. And fortunately, because methionine is found in pretty much all high protein foods, especially meat, most of us get enough and it's not absolutely necessary to supplement with methionine. Some folks take a supplement called SA methionine or SAM. You may have heard of that, s adenosyl methionine. That one's been shown to be helpful for folks dealing with uh, mental health problems. But you don't absolutely have to supplement with methionine because most of us are going to get it from high protein foods. Unless, of course, you're a vegetarian. And then you may have a problem. According to Dr. Kilmer McCulley, we've had Kilmer McCulley on the radio program uh, in the past. Dr. McCulley was a Harvard professor who got fired for having the nerve to say, ah, you know what, guys, I don't think cholesterol causes heart disease. I think it has more to do with uh, some toxic chemicals in the body. And I don't think this cholesterol hypothesis is all that in a bag of chips the way everybody's saying. And of course, he got fired for saying that. He wrote a bunch of books. Dr. McCulley says that uh, it may, it's, while it's not cholesterol that's the cause of heart disease, it may very well be a buildup product called homocysteine. You probably heard of homocysteine. Homocysteine levels build up when we don't have enough B vitamins. And it turns out that we, even doctors know, that if you use B vitamins, you can reduce your risk of heart disease. Reading from an article that uh, Dr. Kilmer McCulley wrote and published in February 2012 in the uh, journal Nature, Quote, the low dietary intake and sulfur amino acids, that is methionine and cysteine, by plant-eating populations leads to increased vulnerability of these vegetarian subjects to cardiovascular disease. Unquote. Dr. McCulley and evidence suggests that vegetarians are at risk for cardiovascular health challenges due to their deficiencies in methionine, at least according to Dr. McCulley. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number. We'll take a break and be back right after this. Don't go away. Side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, NAC, N-acetylcysteine, or Kilmer McCulley. If you're a vegetarian out there and you got questions about vegetarianism, or if you have comments about vegetarianism, I know I talk to a lot of vegans and vegetarians who don't like when I say that you got to have a little bit of, you don't have to, but it helps to have a little bit of animal protein in the system. And if you're, if you're a vegetarian, you can do it. And if you're a vegan, you can stay healthy, obviously. It's not like you absolutely have to have animal food. It's just a little bit more difficult. You got to make sure that you're getting enough sulfur. You got to make sure that you're getting enough methionine and cysteine, which are found mostly in animal foods. You got to make sure that you're getting enough vitamin B12. It can be done eating sprouts, using seaweed, 
both of which are good sources of all the amino acids as well as vitamin B12 and B vitamins. So it can be done. You just have to have to be a little bit more careful. If you're a vegetarian and you're out there and you've got questions or if you have comments or if you've been living a fine, long, healthy, uh, healthy disease-free life being a vegetarian, give us a call. Tell us how you're doing it. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And we'll get your calls here in just a sec. From... Stanford University School of Medicine published in the journal Emergency Medical Journal, pain reliever linked to kidney injury in endurance runners. That's ibuprofen. Ibuprofen, it turns out, uh, can be associated with kidney disease. People who take the painkiller while running very long distances double. This is a quote from the um, journal, uh, the, the July 5th edition of the Emergency Medical Journal. Uh, people who take Painkiller uh, people who take the painkiller ibuprofen while running very long distances quote double their risk of acute kidney injury unquote and that's a lot of folks running marathons using uh, who are using uh, ibuprofen because ibuprofen is considered to be benign and gentle Alonzo Mourning didn't think uh, doesn't think that Alonzo Mourning was a uh, basketball player who ended up with some serious kidney problems you may have heard about him um, a few years ago he was being given. Uh, high doses, very high doses of ibuprofen for uh, the kind of muscle injuries that people get when they're athletes and when they're basketball players. He ended up with some serious, serious kidney problems. Ibuprofen is far from benign. Do you need it sometimes? Yes. Sometimes ibuprofen can be helpful. But what you want to be careful with is using it every day and using it multiple times a day, as many people are. We get the idea that these over-the-counter uh, over drugs are gentle and benign. The FDA, of course, has made them over-the-counter. They're still drugs, folks, and they're still problematic. All drugs are problematic. A couple days ago, there was an article about proton pump inhibitors that we talked about, proton pump inhibitors like Nexium, which are prescribed for folks who have heartburn. Well, proton pumps inhibitors, as it turns out, are associated with an early demise. No surprise if you understand how unbelievably important it is to stay off of all drugs and how unbelievably powerful drugs are, whether they're over the counter or not. Anything that puts, that makes your body do something, that compels the body to do something without providing nutrition, that's what a drug does, is it compels the body to do something without being nutritional, is going to cause a problem. If it makes your body do something it doesn't want to do and it doesn't provide nutrition, it is going to put a burden on the body that the body doesn't need. All right, from the Journal, uh, Journal of Investigative Dermatology, vitamin D may improve sunburn. High doses of vitamin D taken one hour after sunburn significantly reduce skin redness, swelling, and inflammation. I love this idea because vitamin D is made by the skin. The skin actually makes its own anti-sunburn compounds. It protects itself naturally from the sun. So when you go out in the sun, not only do you get the healing benefits of the sun, not only do you get the upregulating benefits of the sun, not only do you get the anti-aging and anti-disease and pro-health benefits of vitamin D from the sun, but the skin will actually make its own protective mechanism so that you don't burn, i.e. vitamin D. And also, by the way, melanin. Pigment is protective. A lot of folks say, and I read this on the internet a lot, oh, pigment is damaged skin. No, pigment is not damaged skin. Pigment is protection. There may be some kind of stimulus, which can be interpreted as a trauma, that leads to the production of vitamin D, but that's kind of like lifting weights. When you lift weights, you get trauma to the muscles, and the muscles respond by getting bigger. So for anybody who tells you that you got to stay out of the sun because the sun damages the skin, they're missing the point. The point is, is that the body protects itself from the sun, and the sun is important for upregulating neurochemicals like serotonin as well as vitamin D. And by the way, melanin is more than protective for the skin. Melanin is actually a highly electromagnetic substance that has electronic properties that can improve health above and beyond its role as a pigmenting chemical. You know, there's melanin in your brain, neuromelanin, and folks who have Parkinson's disease have a problem that way. In fact, Parkinson's disease is caused by a breakdown in the melanin-producing areas of the brain. It's called the substantia nigra, which means the black substance. Neuromelanin in the brain lives in the area which is decayed or deteriorated when we have Parkinson's disease. All right, 844 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's go to Alaska and say good morning to Elaine. What is up, Elaine? How are you doing this morning? 
Hey, good morning. How are you doing, Ben? I'm doing good. Thanks for calling. Yeah, How can I we just, help you? Yeah, I just have a, a comment uh, for you and, and the listeners and then a question. Yes, um, ma'am. Again, I've got um, lupus, and you get you, you have lupus personally? Yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. I don't think I, you ever told me that. Yeah. That's, I called you, like, last, mm, like, November, and you gave me a lot of advice. Yeah? Um, it, how you doing? Really helped. So, oh, good deal. Um, you know, I started taking tangy tangerine about two years ago. And um, I look at things, you know, when I was in my 20s, I could look at my exercise and my strengthening on a weekly basis. And now, you know, with the autoimmune stuff, I look at things quarterly. So uh, maybe it sounds a little awkward, but I've been doing tangy tangerine for about eight quarters now or about two years. And okay. I actually felt strong enough to go on a pretty substantial hike um, two years ago, which I have, I, I couldn't have even thought about hiking a year ago, but um, two weeks ago, excuse me, I went on a pretty substantial hike, not like Long's Peak, <laughs> but a pretty good mountain, and I did, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I did a lot of the deep breathing that you talked about, and I didn't have um, any tachycardia at all. Um, nice. Which that was great. Um, and tachycardia I, meaning a fa- fast for the listeners, fast heartbeat. Yeah, so you had a yeah, problem with tachycardia. Heartbeat. So, uh, and one thing that I found very, very interesting, um, when I deep breathe, like say at night, and I try to do it every day, the, saying the Lord's Prayer. I know it sounds okay. a little weird, okay. but it goes no, it doesn't. absolutely perfect. You know, our Father, inhale. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of awesome. cool. So that is I very really cool. I did about that, but um, the one thing after the hike, you know, we get the, you know, post muscle soreness, the delayed onset muscle soreness, you know, with workout. But I get like what I kind of call sick sore. It, it almost feel like by day four, it felt like shards of glass in my quads every time they'd contract. And I'm thinking, man, is this rhabdomyolysis? And what? On. Oh. Are you on any medicine, uh, Elaine? No, I'm off all med. Hang on a second. I want to. I want to finish up. I got some questions for you. We got to take a break. So don't go away, Elaine. Okay. All right. I'm pharmacist Benny. Four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more good health information on the bright side. Right after this. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you're a vegetarian, I'd love to hear from you. Um, just want to know how you're living your life and why you're a vegetarian. Vegetarian, I can see why people would be a vegetarian, actually. But uh, from a health perspective, you do have to have animal protein. I shouldn't say that. It helps to have animal protein in your diet. There's things that are in meat and there are things that are in dairy. There are things that are in eggs. Of course, vegetarians can do dairy and eggs, but if you're vegan, there are things that are in eggs and there are things that are in uh, uh, animal foods in general that you, it's just going to be difficult to get from, from a, a, a vegan type of diet. And if you are a, a vegan or a vegetarian, supplementation becomes extra super duper important. It's important for everybody. It becomes extra important if you're a vegan or a vegetarian. All right, 844 is our number. We're talking to Elaine in Alaska. Hey, Elaine. Hi. Hey, so what medication were you on? Uh, the doctor, the rheumatologist, she initially tried to put me on seven hardcore. Seven different drugs? Yeah, methotrexate, oh, yeah. beta blockers. Oh, it was unbelievable. Did you and take the methotrexate? Yeah, being a PT, I see so many drug interactions. So I, the only two I agreed to was um, Plaquenil which didn't seem to help, and um, Clenaril or Solendac, which, which right. does help when I'm in a, in a bad situation. I do break down and take that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it, you know, it's, I'm trying to get stronger. I'm trying to go to the gym. And I, I'm slowly getting stronger, but anytime I just, it's like a funnel. I, you know, this inflammation, it just reminds me of a funnel. It's, How you know, so? People have a really wide orifice. Some people have a real small. So I got this, like, narrow orifice so if i just do a little too much you know just like a funnel 
you fill up a funnel too fast, it's just going to spill everywhere. Too much what? What are you saying? Too much what? Exercise? Yeah, too much exercise, uh-huh. or like if I work too hard, or like I see. I That's great, though. Mm-hmm. Your body's talking to you. Your body's communicating to you. It's telling you what to do, and you're listening. That's great. So just looking for any strategies, um, you know, because food. Food, 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 green. food, 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 food. That's the most important strategy for dealing with autoimmunity. That whole idea of circulating immune complexes. Did you hear me talking about that a couple days ago? How, yeah, how these immune, these little yeah. immune particles start floating around in the blood, and those immune particles come to rest in very soft tissues of the body. The connective tissue, in particular, is the great dumping ground of blood toxins. I've, you know, I've, I've said this before, how when I was a kid, when my mom would tell me to clean up my room, I'd shove everything under the bed, right? You ever experienced that? Or if you have kids, or do you ever do it when yourself when you were a kid? You shove everything under the bed, so that way you don't oh, see never. it. You never did that? <laughs> okay. Well, I did that. I think you're kidding me. But anyway, the body does that too. The toxins that are floating in the blood get shoved into the connective tissue and sometimes into the soft tissue as well. This is where an autoimmune disease begins. The body sees these toxins that have been deposited in the various form, in the various uh, parts of the various connective tissue parts of the body, or it sees these toxins that have been deposited in the thyroid or in the kidneys or in other parts of the body, other soft tissues or glands in the body. It then mounts an attack on the connective tissue or on those parts of the body. That's what an autoimmune disease is. And this is why people feel better when they stop eating. Now, I know it's hard to stop eating. I was talking to a gal this morning. I don't know if she's listening. And she has a condition called ankylosing spondylitis, which is like a severe, severe form of arthritis. And, and it is autoimmune in base, has an autoimmune basis. And I, I explained to her, you stop eating for two or three days, you're going to feel better. But she couldn't do it. She couldn't stop eating. Now, I don't have an autoimmune disease. And I know how hard it is to stop eating for a couple of days or for three days or to do a fast. But if you're suffering this way, as hard as it is to stop eating, it, it's, you're going to feel better. Even if you feel tired, even if you have a, get a, get a headache from not eating, if you absolutely can't fast, Elaine or anybody else who's listening, do a Swero V cleanse. A Swero V cleanse is like a, it's like an easy form of a fast because the Swero V provides you with fermented whey. It provides you with a little bit of protein. It provides you with bacteria and also potassium and sodium. Very important electrolytes that give you energy. Now the Swero V is not only for fasting. We call it, uh, I, I talk about the Swero V cleanse all the time, but the Swero V is great for snacking. If you want to reduce your, uh, the amount of food that you eat in the middle of the day when you feel a little hungry or you're bored or you want a snack, the Swero V gives you energy. So you don't just get benefits for fasting if you use the Swero V and you uh, employ a Swero V cleanse, but you also get weight loss benefits, you get energy benefits, and you don't have to expose yourself to processed foods and snack foods. Snack foods are a huge, huge problem. There's a really cool book that I'm reading now called Devoured which is all about the snack food and processed food uh, epidemic, really, ever since uh, probably the last hundred years or so when we figured out how to process food and preserve food, most of us are subsisting on this stuff. Most of us subsist as 90% of our calories come from processed foods, foods that didn't exist 200 years ago. This is the thing. Our body evolved over the course of hundreds of thousands of, and millions of years to eat certain foods. These processed foods, uh, they're brand new to the body. They've only been around for 50 or 100 years, and so the body doesn't know how to deal with them. Now, of course, you're going, to be, you're going to be suffering from nutritional deficiencies because processed foods don't have nutrients. But even worse, you've got the trans fatty acids and you've got the MSG and the excitotoxins and the flavor chemicals and all of the substances that are the non-food substances that are in foods, non-foods that have been introduced into foods to allow, us to, to allow them to be sold and to allow them to sit on the shelf. And most of us are living on these kinds of substances. So not only does calorie restriction and intermittent fasting and fasting in general allow your body to give your body a break from the heat of burning calories and the, uh, the, the work of digesting food, but it also minimizes or, or, or reduces your exposure to chemicals that are in foods that are not food. Non-food chemicals that are in foods, and this is why calorie restriction, intermittent fasting, a swervy cleanse, and just eat, stopping eating, just doing a fast can be so helpful. Not only if you're dealing with, uh, with a chronic health challenge or an autoimmune disease, but just as a longevity strategy, and you'll save money, and you'll actually have more energy. Have you ever fasted, Elaine? Have you taken a day off from food? 
It, it's such a mental thing. I need, you know, actually after that crazy big hike, all I wanted, all I wanted was salt. So like that night, I just had like a little salt water. That's great. Like a, I forgot about that one. That's another really great adrenal health yeah, challenge. Uh, it, it, it was just that's all my body wanted. So I actually didn't even eat that night. And then, but how did that salt know, taste? How did that salt water taste? Oh man, it was so good. It, isn't it amazing how delicious salt water can be? Yeah. I'm always I'm always blown away how a sip of salt water, a couple sips of salt water are yeah. delicious. And this is a great strategy for folks who have adrenal fatigue issues, who are under any kind of stress or just want a little bit more energy. Put some salt in water and don't pay any attention to any boneheaded medical professional that tells you to reduce your salt intake. It is stupid advice. In fact, I'm, there's a book that uh, just came out, uh, The Salt Oh, I forgot the name of it. I'll, I'll get you the name on our next episode. Anyway, salt is super important. It can give you energy, uh, especially if you've been out and, uh, working out or if you've been uh, out in the heat and you've been sweating. And the neat thing about salt water is it tastes really good. Now, after a couple of sips, it's not going to taste as good. And that's when you know you had enough salt. So you put some salt, uh, Celtic sea salt, in some water. You sip on it slowly. Uh, the first couple of sips are going to be super delicious. And then when uh, it doesn't taste delicious anymore, you put it away and you're done. And you know you've had enough salt. And then when it happens again... Uh, when you get tired again or if you go out and sweat again, do a little bit more salt water. It's amazing. And that's the little things. Those are the little things that we can do to stay healthy. Health is not a medical issue. Unless you're dealing with some kind of emergency or some kind of infection or some kind of trauma, health is none of the doctor's business. They have taken it over because that's how they, they've turned it into a profit center. They've turned diagnosis and they've turned testing and they've turned scores and, and, and regular visits into a way they make a living, but they don't help us get better. Witness the 100 million Americans who are dealing with, 120 million Americans who are dealing with chronic health diseases, the 75 million Americans Americans who are dealing with multiple chronic health challenges, the 90 million Americans who are dealing with prediabetes or diabetes, the 100 million Americans who are dealing with obesity, the 80 million Americans who are dealing with hypertension, and on and on and on. Our health is, is it's a disaster, and we got more doctors than ever before. It is not a doctor issue. Health is about lifestyle. Good long-term health, unless you're dealing with an emergency, is about lifestyle choices that we can all make. Elaine, I got, uh, I got to motivate here. We're running out of time. Anything else you want to ask? Just real quick with the NAC, does that help with muscle recovery? I haven't done Absolutely, that. Absolutely, 100%. Also vitamin E, also alpha lipoic acid, also magnesium, and also your ultimate essential fatty acids. All right, Elaine, that's the music. We got to go. God bless you. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it in Alaska. And thank you so much to all my listeners. Appreciate all of you guys. Please check out my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for health information as well as the longevity products and also our Truth Skin Health products are all available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.